Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the new scavenger bundle available in the shop. Came out at the same time as the anniversary event two days ago. So is it worth the money? You see $34.99 here, but it's $25 US. My store is in Canadian dollars. So is it worth $25 for that bundle? Now, once again, Mad Finger Games always been against pay to win mechanics. So I've seen, I've read, I heard lots of weird comments about these things here. First of all, it is not an armor bundle, guys. It's not armor, it's cosmetics only. Okay, some other bundles have armor in it. And when you buy armor bundles, the perks are random. And some guys are not happy because it's random. So you have a chance to have bad perks and they say it's not worth the money. But at the same time, if you were guaranteed top perks, it would be pay to win a little bit and it was probably not the idea here so let's check what's in the bundle first but before just a reminder guys these bundles also come with gold so you're paying 25 dollars for the bundle but you also get a thousand gold now you can see on the far left a thousand gold sells for ten dollars it's on sale right now so technically you're paying 25 dollars for the bundle but $10 would be the value of the gold only. So you kind of paying 15 for the cosmetics and the other stuff, right? So let's click on read more and see what's inside. And you will see it's just a few items. You get three cosmetic parts, the hat, the scavenger body and the scavenger legs. All right. Uh, one thing that's interesting here is there's only a few legendary rarity hats in the game. The kiss this mask. And there was another one in beta, this uh, a skull hat, uh, which had the legendary rarity, and I don't see it anywhere now. So probably it's only the third uh, legendary hat in the game right now. So there's one incentive to maybe buy it. Uh, then the rest is going to be uh, first legendary cosmetic where you can wear legs and uh, not the first body though, because we got the metal vest. Uh, but then what else? We got a sticker, Shadow Finger sticker, and we got Ocean Sunrise uh, paint bucket. So it doesn't seem like it's a lot for $25 or maybe $15 because the $10 would be the value of the gold. Uh, you also get an XP boost. So if you're not max level, a lot of people don't know what XP boosts are. Well, actually, is when you want to level up your rank, if you're not 27, you need XP. And for three days, you'll get 50% extra XP. So if you're grinding the last two, three levels, which are a bit longer, it's going to help you a little bit. And it is also worth something. But for most max level players, XP boosts are worth nothing right now. So anyways, I will buy it because I was going to buy it anyways. And we'll take a look at how good it looks. Here we go. Everything's going to my inventory. That's a lot of stuff. And it's gold. Like, I love legendary rarity stuff, of course. But another problem we have right now for most players is inventory management. Although they keep increasing our inventory size, we always seem to go back to full because they release new events, new weapons, new cosmetics all the time. And we like to collect stuff. So I had to sell a lot of epic weapons. Here's the legendary hat. Looks pretty badass. Yeah, I never like the face on my character, but with this hat, it doesn't seem to show the things I didn't like. So, so far, so good. Now, here's the full set, and I will remove the back just to show you guys. Now, here you go. So this is the full body, and you see the back, and it's pretty nice. And if you put a back cosmetic, maybe it will cover it. I don't know. We'll try a few... Um, back cosmetics just to see but well, i got the um, the diamond guitar which is also legendary and yeah it will cover a little bit it looks better without and let's check the other legendary back the the lion back yeah that will completely cover the back so 
Yeah, right now it is possible to have all legendaries everywhere except the tombstone. We don't have legendary tombstones in the game, but it's the first uh, legendary belt ever. And the rest, we already had a few. And the hat, we didn't have many options. So looking forward to maybe a legendary tombstone release in the near future would be nice. So let's check with different paints, see what it looks like. So if you don't paint anything, you get the, the blue highlights will stay blue. And what's golden kind of will change color when you paint. So that would be steel. And as you can see, the blue parts will stay blue. The red parts will stay red. And only the golden parts will be painted. So pink looks pretty good, I think. Blue on blue. This is red shift, also pretty cool. I want to see the double colors, if they will be double colored, like this one maybe. Yeah, no. So this is really, the, the light blue parts will stay light blue no matter what you do. So it gives you a pretty good idea what it looks like and you can use a paint bucket and it will look good almost no matter what. Now back to the question, is it worth it or not? Now once again, the comments I read is $25 for a mobile game, it's pretty expensive and I totally understand and I agree, it's a lot of money for a mobile game. But I did talk about it on stream yesterday and I said usually console games will cost you $60 anyways. And then you're gonna have like five DLCs throughout the year, $15 each or $10 each. And you're gonna end up paying like $120, $130 for a game every year. If you're a hardcore console gamer or whatever you play, you're gonna end up putting money in the game anyways. This game is free, you don't have to pay 60 to start. And yeah, like personally, if I'm gonna play a game 60, 80, 100 hours, uh, I really feel comfortable spending money in the game, but it's personal and once again, it's not gonna improve your performance It's not gonna make your game uh, Easier. It's not gonna help you progress faster. It is just cosmetics. It's just to change your look so good or bad It goes with the philosophy of not pay to win which is good for the community and if you want to buy, you buy. If you don't want to buy, you don't buy. This kind of monetization features are awesome for communities. It doesn't make rich players better. And on the other hand, maybe the companies have more of a tough time making money out of these uh, transactions. But I don't know. I feel like I enjoy this game. I want to support the company. But I'm also a collector a little bit. I like to have all the cosmetics. So. I know one day I'll run out of inventory anyways, but but let me know in the comments, guys, what you like, what you don't like about this new set. Uh, how many of you bought it already? I've read some comments. Some guys bought it first hour it was released. Boom, click uh, the button. Uh, are you waiting for a rebate maybe or something? But that will be it for today's video. So leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.